Hey everybody, this is Jared Survivor. Today I'm going to set up a winter camp using just minimal gear. Okay, so the next thing is to find some support beams that I can actually build my lean-to on. I'm probably going to put the fire just about where I'm standing here so it'll reflect back into the lean-to and uh, let's see what I can get for uh, coverings for siding so let's go do it. Since I don't have any cutting tools other than a uh, bush knife everything has to be pretty much done by hand so I'm going to go over there and see if I can't break uh, a few pieces loose and then we'll see if we can break them up to size so that they'll actually fit the shelter somewhat decently. All right, now we're carrying stuff back to the camp. So luckily this has got a nice little carry handle. My dog Phyllis. So keep in mind that doing this without tools is much, much harder than it is if you have a saw or an axe, something like that. I have a survival knife, but it's not gonna be any help cutting that stuff there, so I'm just working hard and trying to get materials I need to start the shelter. This is the fulcrum here. This is where it's actually going to break in this area, depending on the wood. I'm just guessing at the right length. So. Later, if I wanted to break firewood, I could come over here. And break the sticks to whatever size I wanted. Okay, you can see the shelter building in the wilderness with no tools except your hands. It's hard work. So, can't be too choosy about your materials. You just got to go with what you got and uh, make it work. So, let's get our pieces here that I've got together. Yeah, so I'm going to grab these, take them over to the camp, set those up. And then if I have enough, I'm going to start uh, doing the uh, covering. So I'll grab some fur bows and whatever else I can get my hands on in order to get that to happen. So let's get to work. Okay, so I'm back. Camp. I'm going to take and uh, set a few of these up so that I've got a nice ridge along the top there. And then I'm going to start looking for brush to cover everything up.
Okay, this isn't going to be a beautiful shelter. It's not meant to be. It's just meant to be serviceable. So, the idea is uh, the west is this way. The wind from in the wintertime here in Maine typically blows from the west when it gets really cold. So, I'm going to put my fire pit right here and I'll cover this up so it'll block the wind coming in from the west. So, that's the next step. So, we've got the framework built. Like I said, it's not beautiful, but it is serviceable, and that's what counts. I'm going to use a technique called tipping to gather some uh, fur bows. And basically what that is, is I'm just taking the top foot, two feet, off uh, the end of some branches. So instead of harming the tree, all it does is it prunes it back a little bit, doesn't, doesn't cause it any harm. Okay, here's uh, an arm load here. Um, I'm gonna need probably five or six more of these. Plenty of trees, so it just takes time. All right, so far using just my bare hands, I've been able to get a fire pit dug. I've been able to uh, get a shelter built. So really the only thing I need right now is a lighter or a fire steel to get a fire going, which is what I'm gonna do next. Okay, there you have it. Using minimal tools, I was able to get a shelter built and a fire going, uh, basically using just a lighter. So, if you get yourself lost in the wilderness, look around. The um, circumstances aren't probably as bad as you might think they are. Uh, look for shelter, and then look for water, and then after that, if you have all those things taken care of, then you can look for food. Uh, in a winter situation, about the only thing out here right now that would even be remotely catchable is probably a rabbit, but uh, other than that, uh, shelter first, water second. Once you have those things covered, you're good for, you know, a few weeks. So that's it. Jar head out. Got any questions? Post them below.